Congratulations to last week's winners, Comic Fam. We're doing a 50K milestone giveaway. Comment, like, and subscribe to enter to win this ASM 361, the first appearance of Connage. That's right. Once we get this channel to 50,000 subscribers, we'll pick a random video where we promoted this giveaway. Use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. Let's chat about some more hot comic books. Number 10 on this list is Amazing Spider-Man Issue 2, a Silver Age Spider-Man key as it's the first appearance of the Vulture. The first appearance of the Terrible Tinkerer, the third appearance of Spider-Man, but the first appearance of the Vulture that makes this single-digit Spidey spec even that much more interesting because we knew, based off of Michael Keaton's appearance on Jimmy Kimmel back in November 2021, that he was in active projects filming, apparently, as this character. Hey, that's enough to push the CGC 6.5 from selling for $4,800 back in July, up 28%, and now selling for $6,133. Could it be Morbius? While well, members believe it to be so, next at the list at number 9, Tales of Suspense, Toss, issue number 40, the second appearance of Iron Man, the debut of Iron Man's Model 1 armor, colored in gold. Yeah, so he goes from the Mark 1 in gray to the gold model, Key worthiness for two reasons. It's got a CGC 8.0 that made the list, selling for $1,695 way back in 2015. It's up 84% now selling for $3,120. An increase of over $1,400 for the second appearance and an incredible key book for a major MCU hero. At the list at number eight, Malibu Sun number 13. I have always loved this book, Jim. You know, I never really took this book seriously. Malibu Sun 13, yeah, it's got the first cover appearance of Spawn, interior images, and on the back page, but it's not the first story. It didn't really feel like the true first appearance, although I guess technically it is, but we all know Spawn number one is the first appearance of Spawn. That's correct. We're talking about appearances in panels, in pictures, but not in story. Regardless, this has been a Spawn collectible for many years. And we have a 9.8 that just sold for an increase of 35%. Last selling just this past December for $4,250 up. Now selling for $5,750. And remind him, Jem, that there's an error of this comic. That's right. You got to look for that green back error cover because collectors will pay a premium for it. And now we have number seven on the list, Silver Surfer number one, the first ongoing solo Silver Surfer series, the origin of the Silver Surfer, the origin of the Watcher, and the first appearance of who, Jam? Shalabal. Shalabal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. With FF 48s and 49s just going crazy out of reach, it makes sense that some collectors are going for the next best thing. Silver Surfer issue number one, a CGC 6.5, sold for $2,000 back in August. It's up 78%, now selling for $3,550. This is a tough book. It's a thick book, and it is tough and high grade. That's an increase of over $1,500 this week at the list at number six. Fantastic for number four. Gem, are you feeling good about your purchase? I'm feeling a little bit better with each sale, man. The Fantastic Four, Issue 4, First Silver Age Appearance of Submariner. We got a 4.0, which sold for $2,280 back in June, up 128%, selling for $5,201. I chatted with Nick Colonies, founder of Key Collector Comics, just last week about the recent Moon Knight trailer, and so many people in the mainstream missed something that he spotted, a building called Atlantis in preview. Let's keep those Easter eggs coming. Moving on to number five on the list, we have Iron Man issue one. We talked about his second appearance, first gold armor. Now we have his first solo series. We have the origin of Iron Man and a book that many in the community, in the dealer circles at conventions would always say to me is an underrated key. This is a fantastic cover and I'm in a major moment for the character. This is the one I always think about when I think those big premiere issues. All these characters that were introduced in these other kinds of titles were getting their ongoing series. And this is like the main one, at least in my eyes. A CGC 9.4 sold for $7,200 back in 2020. It's up 117% now selling for $15,600. Crazy to think that this record was broken in just two years for over $8,000. Next at the list at number four, Daredevil number two. We have the second appearance of Daredevil, the second appearance of Electro. We have the first crossover of Matt Murdock with the Fantastic Four. Dare I say, we got a triple key to talk about. That's right. It's a triple key, and I'm betting that it's heating up because of the Fantastic Four meeting Daredevil aspect. We see what Amazing Spider-Man 16 has been doing. 
That's right. We've also seen how Daredevil 1 has been doing. Biggest gains of that comic book that we've seen in comic history take place over the last year. And the prices haven't slowed down. The 9.4 of issue number two could have been secured for $5,880 just last June. Comic fam up 165% this week, now selling for $15,600 hot damn. And these books are only going to get hotter. Moving on to number three, we have Uncanny X-Men number three. The first appearance of one of the X-Men's first villains, The Blob. An invulnerable mutant. We have a 9.6. How does this comic even exist? $10,655 is what this high-grade Marvel blue chip silver age book Kirby goodness went for back in 2010. And that's up 91% this week. Selling for $20,400 for almost an increase of $10,000. Comic fan, these are some crazy numbers. Keep up with the market. See a plethora of other books that made the runners up list where we source all this comic goodness, this data, this information from. Key Collector Comics, the best comic app in existence, available for both Androids and iPhones. Check out the other record breakers that happened this week. And let's look at Amazing Fantasy 15, the first appearance of Peter Parker Aunt May, Uncle Ben, the Spider-Man, the Web Slinger at number two. Are we still dealing with the trickle-down effect? I think it's trickling down from the trickles here. A 9.6 sold for $3.6 million. It's the highest selling comic book of all time, and the lower grades have all benefited. A 3.5 sold for $45,000 prior record. It's up 24%, now selling for $56,000. You feeling that Peter Tingle gem? Oh, I'm feeling it, just like I'm feeling number one on the list. Hit that like, slap the subscribe button, join the 50K following, and enter to win an ASM 361 at the list at number one, the hottest book in the cosmos, in the galaxy, in the multiverse. This week, we got Incredible Hulk issue number one. And it's funny, we talked about Incredible Hulk issue two on the last Hot 10 video. So number one, iconic cover, first appearance of the Hulk, even though he's not green yet, but we got a CGC 6.0 to report on. Tom, it sold for $35,601 back in March. What could it be going for now? I think we should add this to the comics we wish we bought when we talked about it the first time list. An increase of 77%, over $27,000 up. A new price at $63,000. Comic fam, if you like what we do, slap the like, hit the subscribe, and as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Nuff said. Comic fam, join me on the best new app to buy and sell funny books, collectibles, affordable and expensive paper. We're talking whatnot available for both Androids and iPhones. Join Gem Mint, myself, and amazing dealers that are all vetted on this app, starting auctions at as little as a dollar that last as little as 60 seconds, 30 seconds even 15 seconds when we're feeling excited every single week on Wednesday. We have two other videos for you to check out. Enjoy them. We made them for you. 